Welcome to the third in a series of four presentations to help prospective candidates learn more about BC general local elections. This presentation provides an overview of the eligibility requirements and nomination process for individuals planning on running for an elected official position in the 2018 BC general local elections. Similar to voter eligibility, candidates for local elections must be 18 years of age or older on general voting day, be a Canadian citizen, have been a resident of BC for at least six months prior to filing nomination documents, not be disqualified under the Local Government Act or any other enactment from being nominated for, being elected to, or holding office, and be nominated by eligible electors from the jurisdiction in which you want to run. The minimum number of nominators required is two, but local governments can require up to 25 depending on their population size through their election procedure bylaw. It is recommended that prospective candidates have more than the minimum number required in case any nominators are deemed ineligible. Your local chief election officer and the election procedure bylaw are important resources for specifics on how many nominators are needed, if a nomination deposit is required, and when nomination packages will be available. Candidate nomination packages are generally available from your local government a few weeks before the nomination period, which starts on September 4th. Nomination packages include a number of solemn declarations you are required to make. To mail in nomination packages, you can make the solemn declarations with a commissioner for taking affidavits, or you can submit your package in person and make the declarations with the CEO or their designate. A statement of disclosure form listing your assets and liabilities at the time of nomination must be completed and submitted as part of the nomination package. Nomination documents are public records and the public can request to see them and check for accuracy. These forms are required under the Financial Disclosure Act. For more information, please go to the web page below. Nomination packages must be completed and returned to the local chief election officer or their designate during nomination period which is between September 4th and 14th at 4 p.m. local time. It is the potential candidate's responsibility to ensure the nomination documents are delivered to the local government before the deadline and filled out completely and correctly. This deadline is legislated under the Local Government Act and there are no exceptions. If you submitted the nomination package by fax or email, you must still submit the original hard copies by the end of office hours on September 21st. Otherwise, you will be deemed to have withdrawn from being a candidate. Official agents and scrutineers may be appointed in the nomination documents. See the Candidate's Guide to Local Elections in BC and the second presentation in this series for more information about participants in local elections. Candidates are declared by the local chief election officer on September 14th after 4 p.m. local time. After they are submitted, nomination documents are available for public inspection in local government offices during regular office hours. Nomination challenges can be made through the Provincial Court until September 18th at 4 p.m. local time. Candidates may reconsider and withdraw their candidacy during the nomination period and for seven days after the close of nominations. If you want to withdraw after the deadline of September 21st, minister approval is required and your name might not be able to be removed from the ballot. Being an elected official is a big responsibility. Elected officials will be entrusted with making decisions that directly affect the daily lives of residents, families, local business owners, and many others in the community. Check out the other videos and brochures that highlight some of the things to think about before an individual commits to this responsibility. 
available on the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing's web pages. <laughs>